So thank you all for joining us this morning. I'm really encouraged by the turnout. I know we have uh, at least one more of uh, these planned in my region. This is my first one, and I'm really impressed that everyone turned out on Saturday. Uh, we have one more plan in my region, but I hope we have more. This looks like a very dynamic and uh, productive day. So I, along with all the other administration officials up here, are going to encourage you to give constructive and candid feedback so we can take this back and share it throughout the administration. The mission of the Small Business Administration is to help small businesses start and grow. And the reason we're focused on this is that small businesses drive the economy. They create the lion's share of the jobs. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how my agency helps with that. But first, I'm going to talk about jobs. Thanks to the President's bold action over the last several years, we are adding jobs again. Over the last 23 months, we've had continuous growth in the private sector. We've had 3.7 million jobs. In fact, last year we had more jobs than we've had in any one year since 2005. And for the first time since the late 1990s, we're adding jobs in the manufacturing sector. So we're on the right track. And we know that we've had a lot of success, and we know there's a lot more work to be done, but we can't turn back. And it's because we know that there's more work to be done that our president is looking for Congress here in the Jobs Act, which is a very important piece of legislation. And it's a, it's a way to approval, parts of it have passed, but it levels the playing field for working men and women and strengthens the playing field for small businesses. Now, even more importantly, a few weeks ago, the President laid out his vision for our economy going forward. He laid out a blueprint for an economy that's built to last. This is an economy that's based on American manufacturing, skills for American workers, American energy, and a renewal of American values. What's at stake here is the very survival of a basic American promise. This is a promise that I think most of us grew up with that we hang our hat on. That if you work hard enough, if you can earn enough to raise your family, to buy a home, to put a little aside for retirement. And so to support this promise, the President's called for lowering the tax rate for companies that are creating jobs right here in America. He's looking to penalize companies that are taking jobs offshore. He's looking to reduce regulations to get in the way of entrepreneurs who are trying to create jobs, who are trying to grow and start businesses. He's asked Congress to continue a payroll tax cut that puts a little more money in everyone's pocket so that they can spend a little more at our local businesses. President Obama wants to help communities that have hit the hardest with job loss. He's asked for tax credits for companies that are looking to finance equipment, plants, and get um, and get um, more uh, production going in these communities where manufacturers have left, where military bases have closed. Now we know how important small businesses are to the economy. We know that small businesses create two out of every three net new jobs. So two out of every three jobs are created by small businesses, and on a permanent basis, over half of working men and women either work for or own a small business. So we're a huge part of the economy. We're counting on small businesses to drive this economy forward. In my agency, we're committed to helping small businesses do just that. And we fulfill our mission by doing what we call the three C's, capital, contracts, and counseling. Now, the first C is capital. We provide access to capital. And according to the Urban Institute, the FDA is three to five times more likely to provide a loan to a minority-owned business or a woman-owned business than a conventional bank. Every day we're working harder to get more of this capital into the hands of small businesses. When the President took office, we were in the depths of the worst economic downturn. I know we all remember it. Credit markets froze. They simply weren't giving small businesses loans. But we've had success in this area. Over the last few years, we've got $70 billion in the hands of small businesses. 150,000 businesses across this country. And last year, we were able to get $30 billion out in one year. It's a record year for the FDA. We're having a huge impact on the Hispanic community. Nationwide in 2011, we approved thousands of loans and thousands of loans to the Hispanic community, where we, we um, financed over a billion dollars, and 9.7 million of that came right here in the Hispanic home businesses in Cleveland. The Cleveland office had a record year last year. Our dollar amount of money was up 66%, which is an all time high for this region. We held business owners like Leticia Ortiz of Tortilla Lobamba. She was able to access her SBA Express loan just recently, in fact, it closed yesterday. And because of this loan, she's going to increase her inventory and grow her sales. Now, we've had this success, but we can't stop here. We've rolled out, we've rolled out new programs this year to help with lower dollar loans because we know that it's the lower dollar loans that really serve underserved communities, and that's the 
area of our acquisition capital is in the market. So we're working hard to improve that area. And I just want to quickly, because I'm about to get done, add our other two C's. We have counseling services that are free and they're effective. So I would encourage you, if you're a small business owner, you need to go out and find one of our counselors. We have 14,000 affiliated counselors that are available to us through our resource partner network. The resource partner network includes SCORE, the SPC, the Women's Business Center. Now finally, our third C is contracting. It's really important. We help to ensure that 23% of all contracting goes to small businesses. Now, this is a big number because the federal government is the world's largest consumer. It spends $500 billion a year. So 23% is about $100 billion that we ensure gets to small businesses in the form of revenue. We have two important certification programs, the AA program and the Hub Zone program. Hopefully in our open space sessions, I can talk more about those. Um, but they're both uh, focused on getting companies, companies in underserved markets to get access to federal contracts. And I'll say quickly that 5% of all federal contracts are designated for DNA &A companies or companies owned by economically or socially disadvantaged companies. 3% of that 500 million is designated for the sort of business bills. So the president has been very supportive of contracting. He knows how important it is for the small business community, and he's implemented not only um, new programs and new policies to support him with the small business job act, there were 19 provisions that strengthened all of our small business contracting. We rolled out a new idea called Quick Pay, which forces federal agencies to pay small businesses more quickly in 15 days instead of 30 days. And finally, one of his closest advisors, Valerie Jarrett, is tasked with meeting with um, agency heads and cabinet members to ensure that they are held responsible and accountable for their small business contracting numbers. And I hear it all over the region when I meet with other agencies that this pressure is from the top and it's unprecedented. They've never felt so much pressure in this area and it's working. So I'm closing. <laughs> I'm going to say today, today that we need to pull together. We need to focus on supporting our small businesses, drive this economy forward. We need to make sure that hard work and responsibility pays off, and that we need to build an economy built to last.